The whole point of having a capture system is so that we don't forget our most important insights when they occur to us. Like David Allen says, minds are for having ideas, not for holding them. And the purpose of effortless quick capture is so that we can remove those friction barriers that make it so that we don't record any ideas at all so that no matter where we are or what we're doing, we can capture them and send them to our future selves. Hey Siri, quick capture. Hey, I'm Jeffrey and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a workflow with your iPhone using shortcuts and automations that will deliver your most important ideas to you every day. So let's dive in. So the first thing that we're going to do is to set up our shortcut on our iPhone. So let's go to the shortcuts app and then we will click the plus button and we will give our shortcut a name. And then we're going to start adding our actions. The first one is going to be to dictate text so that we don't have to write it out. We can do it hands free. Then we're going to go ahead and get the date and then we're going to format that date to make it simpler to use. Then we'll click the little down arrow and we're going to change the date format from short to custom. And then we will delete all this craziness here. And I like to go with just the month, day, year. Okay, we can collapse that. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to find all the notes that have that date in it. And that way, if we've already created a date, we're not going to create a new note with, with that date. So we're going to find all notes. We're going to add the filter where the body contains our formatted date. And then we're going to just limit that to a single note. And then we'll get our if statement. So if the note has any value, so if it exists, then we're just going to append the dictated text to that note. So we'll get append. To note, we'll drag that up under our if statement and then we'll clear out the notes and we're going to append the dictated text to the note. And so we'll click there, we'll select the magic variable and then we'll click the notes there. So if it already exists, we're just going to append. If it doesn't exist, we're going to need to create a note. So let's find our create note. And then we're going to move that under the otherwise and then we will go ahead and clear the variable here and we're going to add in the body of this note the formatted date again so formatted date we'll drop this down and we're going to not show the compose sheet so it'll just automatically create the note without asking for any additional input from us and then we'll do the same thing where we will append the dictated text to uh, that note. So we'll clear this variable, we'll add in the dictated text and then the note, we'll select the magic variable and we'll select the note that we just created. So now we can go ahead and create the automation. So we'll go to our automation tab down at the bottom. We'll click create personal automation that will trigger at a particular time of day. We can do it at nighttime so that when we're done the day and sleeping, we can have the email automatically sent to us with the quick capture notes from the day before. So I'll set it for 11 p.m. And then the first thing that we're going to do is add an action to get the date and then we're going to format that date the same way we did in the shortcut so we'll change the date format to custom and then we'll collapse that and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the note for the day find notes and we want to add the filter where the body contains that formatted date and then we're going to limit that to a single note and then if it finds a note We'll get our if statement. If it finds a note that has any value, then we are going to email that to ourselves. So we'll get send email. We'll drag that up under the if statement. And we're gonna send not the note, but the body of the note. And we'll enter the email we want it to go to. And then we can select a title. 
So now my title will be quick capture with the date the notes were taken. So we want to click the little down arrow here and disable show compose sheet so we aren't triggered to have to do anything to get this automation to run. And now we just click next and then we will disable ask before running, don't ask. So then automatically at 11 p.m. I'm gonna get my quick notes sent to me in my email inbox. One last thing that you can do to set up your shortcut so that it is easily accessible on your phone is to go into your settings app, go to accessibility, then touch, and then scroll down to turn on back tap and you can set your double or triple back tap to run a shortcut. So I'll do triple back tap, scroll down, and I'll click quick capture. So then that way I can just triple back tap on my phone when I'm using it and it will open up the option for me to dictate. And then when you first start creating notes, it'll ask you if you want to always allow the shortcut to append and add notes to text. So you just wanna click always allow and then that way you don't have to keep selecting that every time you you want to quick capture a note so now that we have everything set up there are three ways that we can add quick capture notes easily to our iphone we can either triple back tap the phone we can use hey siri quick capture what's the text i have another great idea done or we can go to our notes app and manually add notes to the to the page one thing to keep in mind is that if you are going to add a new note first by writing then you'll need to add the date in the same format that you set up in the shortcuts so if i wanted to add one for the 25th i could do so and then i can write my text here and then that way it'll still be recognized by the shortcut and just append to this note going forward. So now when I come to my inbox, I'll have an email from the previous day that has all my quick capture notes for me to process. I can either take care of it right from here, depending on what I have going on, or I can transfer it over to my external mind, which I use log seek for. So I will highlight all the text from the email, and then I use a web extension uh, called Mark Download, and I will then right click, go to Mark Download, so copy the selection as Markdown, that makes it easier to paste over into LogSeq. So when I paste, it's still as a single bullet, but you can use the plugin called Split Block to split it out into each individual line as their own block that you can then deal with, tag, or install in your external mind, depending on where it needs to go. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you found anything useful or what you use for your own quick capture system down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.